It's Ron Rankin. I'm the defensive coordinator and coach of defensive line. Yes, I've been in coaching since uh, 1984, so this will probably be my, if I've counted right, uh, my 30, 30th season at the, at the college level. I've been here as an assistant uh, at Millersville since 1999. Uh, since I've been here, I've coached pretty much everything. Uh, I've been on defense, I've been on offense, and as I said uh, here recently, I, or, uh, a few minutes ago, that I'm the defensive coordinator and, and coaching our defensive line. Well, one of the first things I want to know when I talk to coaches and sit down and talk with kids is the, the, the character of the uh, individual. Is he somebody that's going to be, um, a, you know, a solid person on and off the field? Um, if, if he can't handle uh, the, the pressures of what college athletics uh, is going to throw at that individual, then, then it's going to be tough for that, that person. They've got to be able to handle it academically. They've got to be able to handle it uh, uh, football as well as uh, what they do socially. So. Uh, that's one of the first things I, I you know, I, I want to talk to a high school coach about and the counselors and, and those people associated with that individual, hopefully get a chance to meet the parents and uh, find out what type of background, you know, the parents, uh, mom and dad are involved with that individual. Well, it depends on the position. Uh, you know, some positions don't require necessarily uh, great size. Uh, I coach a defensive line. Uh, the average defensive lineman in this league is like 255, 260 pounds. So uh, you got to match that up with when you're looking at those kids that, uh, you know, especially on the front lines, offensive and defensive lines, the average offensive lineman in this league is like 6'3", 296. So, um, you know, if, if you're recruiting offensive linemen at the high school level and they're 225, do they have the capability to get to 296? Uh, or whatever that, that average is. And the same thing on the defensive line. You want them as heavy, but you're gonna have, you also want guys that can move and run and, and be a little bit more athletic and, and be able to handle those 285-290 uh, pound offensive linemen for 60-70 snaps a game. One of the things I'd like to talk to the kids about, it, it, again I, I mentioned it, is you know, the, the character of the individual. They're going to be hand, able to handle the academic load. Uh, the, uh, the the football load and, and and having a social life to go with that it gets quite even though there's only a 20-hour rule uh, there it is it, it does take up their time because you've got uh, study table involved with that you have academic checks you have to go to class you have uh, film review not only with your coach but hopefully on your own so time management is big I, I talk to people about uh, the, 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 to me three things are really big and 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 uh, uh, one is having great focus. If you don't have great focus on what you want to get done, you're going to struggle. Uh, better be uh, disciplined in what you're doing on the field as well as off, uh, in the classroom, listening to your coach, uh, becoming the player that you possibly can become. And last and, and certainly not least, but uh, is being passionate. If, if, if playing football and getting your degree are important, I mean, you better enjoy it and have some fun with it.